Hi, today I'll go through um, Mathematics Test 1 that has been released publicly by the New South Wales Department of Education. Um, question 19 is about number patterns within mathematics using mathematical operations. So when I say that, um, that's just complicated terminology for, um, you know, plus, minus, um, multiplication and division. Pretty much the rules are those that you already know. So adding two numbers leads to a larger number, um, subtraction leads to a lower number, division leads to a lower number, um, and also multiplication leads to a higher number. So just keeping those things in mind, um, you apply that to what you see here. And I'll show you how I do it. So the number pattern in triangle P is repeated in triangle Q. The first port of call is that you look at P because that will give you the pattern once you find it um, to apply to Q. So let's see if I can show you how to do this. Okay, so we need to find how these three numbers relate. So we know that 3 and there's 15 and there's 45. So 3 and 15 leads to a number that's higher. So this is either plus or multiplication, multiplication or it could be a combina combination of plus um, and subtraction, um, multiplication and division. So it's trying a few things but let's do the simplest ones first. So 3 plus 15 does not equal 45. How about 3 multiplied by 15? So 3 and this is something that you can do um, do your workings on the side of the page um, so then you can circle the answer when you get into the exam um, on the answer sheet. So 3 times 15 is 15 sorry 3 times 5 is 15 3 times 1 is 3 plus the 1 is 45 so that's your answer there and then you know that it's multiplication. Can you see how I did that really quickly? When you know that you are looking for things like plus multiplication you can quickly do things um, rather than thinking about it and looking at a pattern seeing whether it will come to you or how you should go about it or different combinations you know that you now have a straightforward way of getting to the answer quite quickly and finding the pattern so you know it's multiplication then you um, have to apply it here okay Okay, this also is testing your knowledge of how operations work. When you need to find this, you then need to divide, okay? So what you need to do is you need to divide 20 by 40. A quick way of doing division is actually to show it in fractional format because this is easier, as I've shown here, than doing this. Okay, this doesn't really show you anything and you'll have to go through this difficult process of 40 doesn't go into 20 then you what you need to do it, it just makes it really difficult so that you have to add the zero here do the double point here and do another zero and then for 40 into 200 it just becomes very cumbersome that's not the way we need to do it in the exam we need to find very simple ways so 20 over 40 you can see there that that looks like the fractional form of obviously one half how how 20 divided by 20 um, can eliminate 2 1 and 40 divided by 20 is 2 so here you have half just to make sure that this is correct and you don't need to do the checking in the exam but it's a good way um, to do it while you're practicing so that you can become very um, adept at doing it. So what you do is half times 40 and you know that 40 is usually over 1 because 40 over 40 here divided by 2 and obviously 40 divided by 2 is 20. So therefore which matches this, whoops, which matches that, so therefore this is correct. That's your answer. So A is the answer to question 19. 
once you keep doing a few practice questions with this and moreover what's important is actually understanding the process as opposed to just doing a number of questions without thinking once you understand the process and understand what's really crucial which is understanding how operations work so addition subtraction multiplication and division you'll be in a better state to answer these questions um, answer these questions quickly and um, correctly in the exam okay so hopefully this has been useful and if you have any questions or any, even any suggestions for other videos that you would like um, feel free to send them through or post up comments on YouTube okay thank you and good luck for the exam